Hello everyone, this is Amiti Sensei. Today I want to introduce you to how to create a super creative picture for coloring like this. Anyone can create a stylish coloring art with beautiful design like this. So this is what I will show you today. Today's video is actually a collaboration project. In collaboration with this group of artists called Cream, some members from the online community I run called iPadMate, we wanted to make something cool, and we've been actually working on them since a little while ago. These people from Cream are really fun and they've done things like making wall paintings for a hotel and live streaming their works every day for a week. And what they came up with this time is this thing called Endless Picture Clearing as a way to help prevent the spread of coronavirus by encouraging people to stay home. And this is how they created this complex design. I tried to do them with my IPMA members to see how they would turn out, and everyone did such an amazing job and their words went beyond my expectation. So I want to introduce them to you all as well. For example, this peacock was a pretty intricate one, but everyone did such a great job with the use of beautiful colors as you can see. We've got a funny picture like this one too, and even though it's just picture coloring, their styles or the way they use the color is totally different, so they all turn out to be really unique. Also, coloring something like this elephant was pretty interesting. The coloring template itself is very simple, but they all work in details like this. If you take a closer look at this, you can see the textures apply here, or there are some jack parts, or like this one where they insert an image, and these can be done if you just color on a piece of paper with actual coloring pencils. So they've colored all these pictures making use of digital art. In total, we have over 130 works. I'll put the link in the description box down below for you to see them, so please check them out if you're interested. For today, since I want all of you watching my video to try coloring too, I will introduce you to how to do high quality picture coloring in this video. For the app, we'll mainly use this app I often use called Procreate, but we'll also use a different app and I'll show you how to use Procreate in collaboration with that app and also teach you some tips and hacks to make your artwork look more stylish too. So please give it a try and do this together with me. Okay, first we'll go ahead and download this template for coloring. I'll put the link for this in the last coloring page, so please go to this page from there. Then you can pick one of your choice, but since we want to do something easier this time, go ahead and download this lion. There should be a download button at the upper left, so tap it and it should be downloaded in your iPad. There is this download viewer option at the upper right here, so you can check whether you've downloaded successfully or not. Once you've done these, go back to Procreate. Open Procreate, and this is what we'll be importing the image from earlier. There should be a button at the top to import, so tap it, and now you should see the file apps. The image save area can be found in the folder called Download, and I have my folder open right now. And here you got an option that says Date and Time. So tap it, and the new one should come up at the top. So now we should have the template of this lion from earlier at the top. This time, how we'll be coloring is by separating layers by color and having layers on top of the other. But the very first thing I want you to do is to click on the plus button at the upper right multiple times to create many layers. Place this image or the base template imported area at the very top. Long tab and bring it to the top to place it at the very top right here. Then we'll be coloring on these layers below that here. For instance, grab a red color as it's easier to see, make sure the layer is selected, and let me go ahead and try coloring here. I'm coloring here, but you can tell it's not color at all. It's actually color, but because we have the JPEG image used as a template on top of this, it's not visible right now. So let me do something to fix this. In this case, we need to switch what's called a drawing mode, 
And for the drawing mode, as you tap on the letter N, there should be many options available down below. And this time, select the one that says multiply. This way, as you set it multiply, only the black parts remain and the white parts become transparent. So here you can see the layer below where it's colored. So in the same way, we'll keep coloring. This is pretty straightforward, right? So color this part in red for instance, and if you want to use a different color, just select a different layer and color in blue for instance. This way we can keep coloring easily. I want to tell you some tips when coloring here. The most important thing when coloring is a color scheme. If you just keep coloring using random colors on top of the other, you may often find it not as good as or as stylish as you thought in the beginning. So what I suggest here is that I want you to study a color scheme a little bit for coloring. I'm sure there are some people who don't really know what to do with a color scheme, so I will show you the app I really recommend. It's an app called Cooler, and this app specializes in color scheme, and here it suggests you a variety of color scheme. You can get it for around a dollar or two dollars, so please get it if you can. This will be the first screen as you open the app, where you can see a beautiful color scheme like this. There is this button that says Generate at the bottom, and once you tap it, it'll switch to a different set of color scheme. So it's basically an app where it keeps showing you a different set of color scheme. As you keep tapping this button, and once you find your favorite scheme, take a screenshot. You can take a screenshot by swiping your Apple Pencil like this, either from the bottom left or the bottom right. So make sure to do that and save it in your camera roll. There's actually so much things you can do on this app cooler, and if you go to the panel on the right, it shows you some color options by category, pastel colors or vivid colors for instance, and they've got these options such as natural and excitement too. And there are just so many options you can choose from. It's very interesting, and it's an app I recommend for those who want to do not only coloring, but also do logo design, web design, or basically anyone who is in the field of design. So please check it out if you're interested. Once you have the color scheme of your choice ready, go back to Procreate. While keeping Procreate open, open your camera on the right using slide over like this. Here you should see the color scheme you saved earlier, so pick one of them, drag and drop to bring it over Procreate. It should be displayed bigger like this. Tap the arrow icon on the top so you can set the size smaller. And so just place it somewhere on your screen like this. As for the layer, a new layer is added, which is where you have your color scheme. Then just keep adding new layers below. And we'll be coloring here. But we are going to grab a color from the color scheme with a dropper tool. On a side note, a dropper tool can be found in the middle of the toolbar on the left, the square mark one. So using that, grab a yellow color to color as you can see. By the way, the brush I'm using right now is called a studio pen, which can be found in the inking box. Then just trace the edge first like this to outline the mouth. Once it's outlined, throw in color like this from here. Inside the part you trace gets filled in. Make sure to remove any parts sticking out with an eraser. Next we'll color on a different layer. We'll keep the face layer at the very bottom. The order of layers doesn't really matter much, so put them in order according to your preferences. Like we did before, grab a color using a color picker, and this time we'll color his hair in light green. Okay, next, select a new layer and color in a different color. Remember to separate the layers when changing the color. Start coloring this part in emerald green. A tip here is try to have each color 
light green and emerald green one at a time, making sure not to have the same color all over the place. Alright, just like this, I'm done with coloring. Coloring using the app Cooler to set the color scheme makes things so much better. And it's definitely better than when you just color by choosing colors randomly. So once you've done this, set the layer while we attach the image area of this color scheme layer invisible. Or you could just swipe left and delete it. Okay, from here, we'll cast a spell on it. Here we have these layers separately, and we'll be applying textures here. I showed you some works from my FMA community in the beginning of this video, and the reason why they all seem complex and intricate design-wise is because of the textures that were applied, and that's what we'll be showing you here. First, open your camera on the right using a slide over. I have some images of textures downloaded and saved in my camera roll. I actually got many textures here, but bring one over Procreate, and on a side note, you could download these texture images from website, but if you can, please try to take a photo by yourself. You could just take a photo of the carpet you have at home, or stone or ruffles, concrete plants, food, etc. So take a photo of anything that's not too plain for your texture, and drop it to the screen on slide over just like we did before. This way, the image is displayed, so you could adjust the position or rotate it too. So try to find a good spot and leave it there. Right now for the layers, we have this texture layer above the face layer, the one in orange. And if you tap the texture layer, there should be a clipping mask option. And as you tick this checkbox, the texture gets applied only to the layer below, the one in orange. And this is called a clipping mask. Tap the end button and switch to drawing mode. As you scroll down, you can find many options like this. This time, go ahead and choose hot light. Select hot light and set the opacity level lower. But this drawing mode will look different each time, so remember to select one of your choice. Once your texture is added, look! It makes the surface seem kind of rough, but yeah, you can create unique picture coloring image like this. In the same way, we'll work on the hair with the use of a clipping mask and by applying texture to each part. This time, let me insert this image of waves from my camera roll and make sure to set the position of the image. So I have the layer of these ocean waves above the navy one and as I apply clipping mask, the texture is applied to the dark blue part. So now I'll switch to join mode here. Same as before, set a hard light, lower the opacity level, and if you keep it 100%, you'll look kind of too much. So I guess the tip here would be to slightly lower the opacity level. For this emerald green layer, as well as this light green layer too, we want to add the ocean waves effect. So swipe this ocean waves layer to the left and click on copy. Now the same layer should be added, so change the position and tap the clipping max option again. Then, as we did before, Lower the opacity level and change the drawing mode. Click on copy again and bring this to the very top. 
bring it above the light green layer, touch it, and then click on Clipping Mask. This way, the texture is applied to all the layers like this. You could adjust the position depending on the texture too, and you can reshape objects from the arrow icon too. So if you want to, it's totally fine to change the position as well. Okay, now it's complete. What do you think everyone? Isn't this pretty awesome? It's very different from regular picture clone you imagine, and I think this one looks way more advanced and high in quality. It'll be fun to play around with texture too. One of the members from my iPad Mac community told me they got some french fries and took a photo of it and added it as texture. So I think you could literally make use of your everyday scene as texture and it will definitely make your picture occurring a lot more creative. So see what you can do. Alright, that's all for today. If you can, please check out the Endless Picture Coloring website to download something and give it a try. I'll also put the link down below for you to see some examples by iPadMint members. And it's got all the amazing works here, so I want you to check them out and hopefully be inspired. And thank you for all the iPadMint members for your hard work. I'm hoping to do more collaboration videos like this time, so please look forward to my future videos. Once you have your design, please post it on Twitter or Instagram with the hashtag iPenMate and I'll definitely check them out. So please remember to do that if you can. Alright, that's all for today. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye!